Having proper footwork is essential to a game. It makes you move fast and efficiently around the court and it allows you to be in a balanced position when you hit the shuttle. When you practice your footwork, keep in mind that the better your timing is and the more efficient your movement patterns are, the faster you will be and the less energy you will use. One of the most important movements in your footwork is the preload jump. A preload jump is a small jump you make just before your opponent hit the shuttle. When you make a preload jump, you preload your leg muscles to move in the direction where your opponent hit the shuttle. When you prepare for a preload jump, your feet should be shoulder width apart and you should bend slightly in your legs. Also, you should try to relax in your body. You should lean forward slightly and you should have your weight more on your toes. It's very important to have good timing, which means that you don't jump either too early or too late. Also, it's important that you land with both your feet at the same time as if you land with one foot before the other you will lose balance and momentum. Also, it's important to control the height of your jump as if you jump too high you will be in the air while your opponent hit the shuttle and you will end up reaching the shuttle late. Having a preload jump that is too high will also cost you a lot of energy. When you move around the court, you nearly always want to move towards the middle of the court. As in this position, you will have the shortest distance to the corners. Being at the middle of the court, you will also be in a balanced position. In reality though, your center of the court changes in a large circle around the middle of the court and is actually determined by where you make your preload jump. So for example, if you've made a high serve, it is obvious that your center of the court will be in the middle of the court. But if you're in a defensive position, you will likely move your center of the court a couple of feet back so that you gain more time to return the smash. Another example where you changes your center of the court is when you made a drop from the back line and from here you make your preload jump as you move towards the center of the court and this is the new center as this is likely where you will be when your opponent hit the shuttle. From here you will change direction and move towards the shuttle. There is one situation where you don't make a preload jump. After a smash where you want to run directly towards the net, either straight or cross, to finish the rally, you don't make a preload jump simply because you don't.